Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. WhatsApp finally made it possible to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iOS for free with Move to iOS application. But here is a catch. You need to factory reset your iPhone in order to transfer your chat history from Android to iPhone. And there are some WhatsApp users who have already set up their iPhone and using it for a while now. That means they already have some data on their iPhone. I'm sure not all of them would be comfortable erasing everything from their phone because there is also a possibility of data loss. Uploading everything on the iCloud would also take a lot of time and you might also need to buy the additional iCloud storage for that. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone without resetting your iPhone. So let's start the video, but before I start, in this video, I will show you a third party software which can transfer your full WhatsApp data even if it's a big file size. It's a paid application. You can see the full details in this link on your screen about the software with detailed instructions. Also, you can download the software from the website. It costs $20 for one month license and work with Mac and Windows computers. Also, the company is giving a discount of $7 with this coupon you can see on your screen. If your WhatsApp data is valuable for you, this will be a perfect solution and is worth it. You can see here the list of supported devices. Since I use a Mac, I'll be showing you this method on my MacBook, but it's the same for Windows. You need to connect your iPhone and Samsung cable to MacBook. Open the application now. Click on WhatsApp. You will see this transfer screen. Before you start the transfer, take a complete backup of your WhatsApp data on Google Drive. My chat data is 3GB, which is difficult to transfer by Move to iOS application. Also enable USB debugging on your Android smartphone by going to Settings, About Phone, Software Information, then click on Build Number for 7 times. This will enable Developer Option. Go back, click on Developer Option and turn on the option of USB debugging for smooth connection with MacBook. Now connect your Android smartphone to MacBook. You can see the green icon showing smartphone is connected to MacBook. Click on the prompt of allow USB debugging on your Android smartphone. Now it's time to connect your iPhone to MacBook. You might see a prompt of trust this iPhone. We are now ready for transfer as both the smartphones are connected to MacBook. Now click on transfer and then click on continue. Again click on continue. It will take WhatsApp data from the backup. It might take time depending on the backup size of your WhatsApp. Once finished, it will ask you to verify your WhatsApp backup account. Type in your WhatsApp number and click on verify. Click on continue. Again, click on continue. It will send you the WhatsApp code. Now type in the code and click on verify. Here it will generate the whole backup for restoring. Once it's done, you will be logged out of your Android WhatsApp account. Now click on restore backup. You have to log into your WhatsApp account on your iPhone with the same number. Guys, this is very important. You should not be logged in before this step on your iPhone. Once logged in, type in your profile name as you would normally do and click on done. So now I'm inside my WhatsApp chat, but without Android WhatsApp data. To get it, click on restore now on MacBook and then click on continue. The restore process will start and it will override everything. Click on logged in. You will see a prompt of turning off Find My iPhone. Go to iPhone settings and turn off Find My iPhone. Once done, click on try again. You will see the restoring has begun on iPhone. Once 100% complete, iPhone will reboot. Now put in your passcode and go to WhatsApp chat. You can see here it's optimizing the new backup from Android smartphone. And here we are, all my backup of Android is here. The full 3GB chat data, everything is retrieved and restored here. It's a paid application, but I would say it's worth the price. As you're getting all your Android chat backup on your iOS device, which is not an easy thing to do, especially if it's a big file size backup. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you like this video. If you find any difficulty in this process, kindly write me in the comments below and I will make sure to answer you back with a solution. So that's all for this video, guys. Hope to see you all in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings.